Hello, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide, and this is my impromptu NSC4 study lab. So, uh, yeah, so I've been recording these videos, and I have just literally been just thinking up ideas between me and Mr. Forty Duck here on, on stuff to do. So in the last video, we did, I believe, an NTP server, and uh, let's take a look if it worked. And yeah everything in our domain now is synced up to the same time as the 48 so that was nice but we also did a uh, email alert for when 40 duck was was messing with stuff and we saw one of the big limitations of the email alerts was everyone kind of got the the same alerts right um, you know so if we had like 40 duck responsible for networking I was responsible for security someone else might be uh, responsible for logs and and uh, storage space and that kind of integrity um, you know we'd still be getting the same alerts and that's kind of a bummer so one of the ways that we can get around that is either get a 40 analyzer which allows us absolute control over um, over who gets what notifications across our entire network, which is awesome, or we could do a stitch. And an automation, automation stitch is a part of the security fabric, but in later releases of the 40 OS, it actually uh, uh, was separated from the fabric. So you could do email alerts on an if, then, then, this, that kind of basis, but it's not in 600. So uh, let's just verify that by logging into our firewall here. Oh. Forgot I had LDAP. Nice. Here we go. All right. And I'm just going to double check that because there should be an automation tab over here in our navigation pane. Uh, security fabric. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't see an automation. Boo. So you know what, guys. Uh, me and 40 duck talked it through yes I do talk to my rubber duck so and uh, we decided you know what uh, we already dropped a license on here so why don't we go ahead and update the firmware and see if the stitches aren't available in a later version so um, that's gonna be our goal for this video is the best practices of uh, dropping dropping our firmware upgrading our firmware so normally the best practices kinda go something like this right we back up the, the uh, config Okay, and you're supposed to have copies of the OS just in case and also terminal access because if you had physical access to the FortiGate here, if for some reason there was some sort of failure or something did not happen right, we could actually get to the boot menu and then with a TFTP server push or pull that that file. So uh, we're not going to do that here though because you can't do it with the virtual machines. What? So. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I guess you could do it through the CLI, but uh, that's also the best practice. So, um, but also you do your release notes, you read those, you double check everything, then you perform the upgrade. And on the 40 gates, if you have a support license, I mean, it's about as easy as it gets. So we come down here, we see that there's a new version available. We're going to go ahead and view it. All right. And what's nice is that it now shows you the upgrade path. That started in 6.0, and that is beautiful. So it's showing you here, if you don't want to break your syntax, right, you're going to want to first go to 6.0.2. And it does back up the config and upgrade for you while you do it, all right? So we're going to pretend like it's 2 in the morning, and it's a maintenance window, and we have some downtime, um, and we're going to upgrade the firmware. So are you guys ready? Let's, let's do it. So bloop. We're going to go ahead and do it. And also, don't forget the release notes were right there too. Okay? So you always read the release notes because that's going to tell you, hey, if you have X, Y, and Z, there's a possibility it's going to be affected. And you read the release notes of every single hop of revision that you need to go to. Now, while this thing is uh, downgrading, I can open up the terminal, and we can see it happening from the terminal here. You're going to see it push itself offline. Um, in fact, you know what? I think I should have. I should have had the uh, config, I thought. Oh, you know what? It's downloading it, I bet. Okay, there we go. It was downloading it from the 40 OS, um, or the 40 OS, the FortiGuard services. So there we go. That's what I was looking for. So, but anyways, if you guys have like an extreme upgrade to go to, you can go to the support website. You go to download in your support portal, 
and uh, there's an upgrade path and that's where you can pick like hey I'm going from 5-2 trying to get to like 6-2 and it will show you all the different revisions that you should take so and of course you have to read the release notes with every single hop and just make sure that you're you're doing it with a little bit of caution so but here it goes it's coming down all right and it should reboot and that's all it takes so um, that is not too bad at all it just takes a few moments and of course you should have some kind of like you know mission critical let's test a b and c right and make sure that uh you know something wasn't wasn't affected um so on and so forth but eventually we should get the login prompt here and then we should be able oh there we go the serial number and then once it actually yep has a login screen we should be able to log back in and we should have r62 so i'm going to go ahead and take out the the reboot prompt because sometimes it can hang there all right there we go and let's log in okay and we should now be on 602 so you know what i'm going to take it all the way oh, look at that 605 where did that show up Okay, sure. Let's go ahead and uh, view it again. All right, here we go. So now it wants us to go to 604. That's fine. And this is what we do, guys. We just keep on keeping on. Now, if I wanted to go to a different OS path, all right, did you guys see that 62 down there? You would have to follow the um, upgrade path for that, too. There might be some kind of revisions that they want you to hop here. Just always always do your homework do your checks do it within a maintenance window have that backup configuration have physical access to your machine with some way of consoling in there if you need to and uh, you should be successful so I didn't know we had three upgrades I didn't know 0.5 was actually uh, was actually released so but anyways and once that gets done, I don't know what else we can do while we're waiting, except for just to pause it. So maybe I'll just pause. All right, there we go. So it's now upgrading it to four. And here was the config file that was downloaded. All right, so once again, this config file should be stored somewhere uh, according to whatever your backup repository or your backup plans are uh, for your revision controls and things like that. So um, anyways. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to still hit pause because it still might take a second. Remember, guys, this is my virtual world and it's pretty slow sometimes. So, all right. So that's something that uh, would have been um, found out in the release notes. <laughs> so uh, they and maybe this is just because it was a virtual world. I'm not too sure. Like I said, this is why we do the, the release notes. It formatted my log disk. So, I mean, that's fine. I just did not know that it reformatted it. So they must have gone to a different uh, partitioning formats or something like that for log files. Because I promise you, it wiped my log files. So, and if that was something that uh, I wasn't expecting, I could see me getting pretty upset about that. So, but whose fault is that? Mine, 40 ducks, 40 nets, the 40 gates? It's, it's ours, right? We have to own it because that is definitely something that's in the release notes. Now, all of this stuff, by the way, guys, I think has to do with GNS3, so don't even worry about that stuff. But um, I'm just going to double check that, too, once it logs back in, because that's a big oops, don't you think? Who, ne who needs log files, right? Quack. All right, that was 40 ducks saying agreed. Okay. I'm glad to know when I'm old and alone, me and 40 duck can have very deep conversations together. All right, here we go. So let's log in. All right, there we are. And I just want to verify that because I, I actually was not expecting that at all. So in my classes, we stay at one revision because um, they match up with the, the uh, lessons from Fortinet. So let's go to our uh, login reports, our forwarding traffic logs. Yeah, <laughs> they're all gone. Wow, read the release notes. See how there's only 16 logs? Jeez Louise, so yeah, okay. Lesson learned. Read the release notes. All right. You know what, guys? Um, let's go the distance. Are you guys ready? Let's just let's just go to five. Oh, I feel so dangerous. Let's do this. So once again, best practice is read the release notes so you're not caught off guard like I was. 
All right, we're gonna hit continue. We should see the config drop. What? That's so awesome. I guess up, upload, not drop. So, and uh, yeah, I'll hit pause until it reboots. So, all right, there we go. So it looks like uh, it did not format at that time. I'm pretty sure because it jumped to another way of doing the file table and yeah, Stuff like that is exactly why we read the release notes. So, but let's go ahead and log in and see if automation stitching's in there. If not, I'll have to upgrade to 6.2. So, and uh, I didn't want to do that because the 6.2 NSC4 exam's not out yet. Uh, that's why I've been sticking with 6.0. So let's go to our security fabric and look at that. Boom, automation. So once again, guys, just upgrade to the latest version. All right, and 6.0 and uh, you can have the automation steps and I will actually save that for another video alright because uh, I'm about to turn to a pumpkin my kids are about to get home from school and uh, they see me talking to rubber ducks they're gonna be like dad what's the matter man anyways but okay so in the next video we'll create an automation stitch play around with automation and stuff like that it probably won't happen for a couple of days but um I look forward to it so I hope someone found that helpful and I'll see you guys next time so